The Observer leads this morning with a newspaper report about the Channel migrants and about a thing which had caused pushbacks or uh, pullbacks, pullbacks, uh, which the Greeks call pushbacks. And it's the same procedure. This time, however, it's funded by us. It's money that we've given to the French Border Patrol to race round the migrant dinghies, the boats, and uh, upset them, uh, knock them over, flood them. If they escape that, then there is every likelihood they're endangered as they cross the channel. So rather than saving lives, this tactic further endangers lives. And for what? For some sort of legal nicety, so that uh, uh, so they're respecting the idea that once the boats are in the water, we can't arrest them. This is nonsensical. This is using the law to evade responsibility. And this is them piling on aggression to dissuade, to deter. We're back to that word again, deterrence. This isn't a deterrent. This is savagery, this is barbarism, and nimbyism as well. Uh, we need to be setting up consular offices in Libya. We need to set, be setting up consular offices before these migrants set off on their perilous journey, so they can begin that process of applying for asylum in our country. And then, uh, if they don't get that asylum, then they must go on to a third country or they must go back to their own country. But that also implies that our own ho home office is fit for purpose, which of course we know at the moment it isn't. And we can't disguise the fact that we have an indolent, lazy ministry by throwing some sort of belligerence around the place and delegating to yet another nation to do our dirty work. In the end, the person who pays the piper must take responsibility. We must take responsibility for what the French are doing in our name. And that is something that was condemned outright by the United Nations uh, when it was practiced in Greece. It's still practiced in Greece, um, but the Greeks are well aware that it's considered illegal and wrong. And they're well aware that it was morally wrong even way back in the early 2000s. This is not the way to treat people. This is not the way to proclaim hospitality for uh, the refugee. And who are we to know at the point when we meet them on the water? Who is genuine and who is not? This is an appalling abuse of the principles of civilization and hospitality. It's appalling and it needs to stop. And it doesn't matter which party is in control. Both parties are committed to this nonsensical uh, travesty of justice. And the only way forward is to kill off the smuggling trade. And that can only be done by setting up consular offices where applications can be filed before anyone gets into boats and I think it also needs to be linked to a to an international conference redefining the 1951 refugee convention those are the only two answers to this problem everything else is wallpaper and posturing and morally degradating behavior uh, and the only people who are degraded here are us the migrants are killed of course in some cases and we we must take responsibility for that we have blood on our hands whether we're actively uh, running around the boats in speed boats and washing washing them um, into disaster or whether we're just paying it's disgusting and it's um, it's not an it's nothing there's nothing new here this this is something that has already been identified and condemned in Greece. And the Greek Coast Guard, which takes a uh, 
significant role in Frontex, and I don't understand why, has already been condemned for its behaviour, not only in attacking migrants, shooting at migrants on the sea, ramming migrants' boats, uh, but also in then torturing uh, migrants when they get when when they're brought ashore and um, treating them appallingly, penning them up and not doing anything. We are in danger of doing the same thing.